They were wearing the same uniform as Reen's sister. Yeah, they must go to St. Australia too. So, the famous St. Australia Girls School is around here, huh? It's supposed to be a combined middle and high school exclusively for the young ladies of the nobility. Yeah, this is one part of the capital that the masses have no reason to visit. Although, I can at least support the school's commitment to fostering chastity and rejecting materialism. You seem to know an awful lot about a fancy girl's school. D no, no I don't. This is all just common knowledge. Anyway, let's go and wait by the front gate. Yeah, those were the instructor's orders. I'm feeling kind of nervous, actually. Why would you? <laughs> To men, this academy must seem clad in the mysterious, impenetrable aura of feminine nobility. I was wondering... Did you not want to come here, Laura? did recommend it to me, but they offered no classes in the martial arts. That alone was reason enough to look elsewhere. <laughs> I can totally understand that. Though I get the feeling Laura would cause a real uproar if she went to a school for genteel young ladies. Yeah, I can picture the chaos now. Oh? I have a number of acquaintances who attend there, and from all I hear, it does seem to be a wonderful school. I've heard that even Princess Alfin herself is a student there. I've heard that too. Princess who? You've seriously never heard of her? I know you're not from Erebonia, but even still... To be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if plenty of Erebonians didn't know who she is. Princess Alfin is the daughter of our reigning emperor, His Majesty Emperor Eugent. She's supposed to be as sweet as an angel and popular with everyone. Is that so? <laughs> Actually, I believe she's the same age as Fee. I've had the opportunity to meet her once before. She truly is as charming as the rumors suggest. I figured as much. I've seen photographs of her plenty of times in magazines, though I've never had the opportunity to meet her. Sounds like she's in the same school year as Elise, come to think of it. She has a twin brother, too, Prince Cedric. He's the crown prince of Erebonia. Oh, right. I think I've seen a picture of the prince in a magazine before. Dark blonde hair, like Eusis's brother, right? Oh, I think you're thinking of Prince Oliver. He's Cedric and Alfin's older brother. Why isn't he the crown prince then? I've heard the reason is that his mother was a commoner. It seems like a stupid reason to deny him the right of succession, but that's how nobles do things. I feel like I've been hearing his name a lot lately. He made a big splash when he came back from Liberal aboard that airship. Uh, you know the one, right? You must be referring to his return aboard the Arcel, after the crisis in Laboral was put to rest. Yeah, I remember seeing that. It really made a big impact. I'd never seen an airship that looked so white and elegant before. I believe my father went to welcome the prince back in his capacity as Imperial Governor, too. And yeah, now that you mention it, that does seem to be when I started hearing his name around a lot more. Oh, you're all here already! Ah, you made it. <laughs> it's good to see you all again. You're a bunch of early birds, aren't you? Well, we just about finished up everything we had to do when we got the call to meet here. Were you able to finish up everything on your end too? <laughs> As if we'd leave any loose ends. 
If not for our unfamiliarity with the city, we would have been finished this morning. <sighs> Every time. Looks like getting these two to kiss and make up will be an uphill battle. <laughs> well, some say that when someone gets under your skin, it means you really care about what they think. Wait. Did you two... I figured the girls would be the first to notice. <coughs> of course. I, um... I apologize for any worry I've caused you. We're fine now. Really? That's great! <laughs> it sure is. Maybe after this field study is over, we can get together and spend the night talking in one of our rooms. Sounds good. <laughs> the thought of a Class 7 pajama party makes me a little embarrassed. That's girls for you. <laughs> girls and sleepovers go together like jam and toast, huh? That must be Heimdall Cathedral's bell. It has a solemn, stately sound, wouldn't you say? It sounds so different from how it does in the Aust district. Though that makes sense considering the distance. That bell ringing must mean it's five o'clock, which means it's almost the time we were supposed to meet here. Rain? Elise, what are you doing here? Wait, I guess this is your school, so where else would you be? All of your classmates are with you too. <laughs> it's only been a week since we saw you, hasn't it? <laughs> well, we were told to meet here. Wait a minute. Are you the ones? The nine guests I was told to expect at five o'clock sharp? Well, there are nine of us in class seven. Wait, what? Then that would mean... You're the one we were told wanted us to come here? Actually, I suspect that would be a friend of mine. Why does she always have to be such a mischief maker? I swear. She could have at least given me a little warning that you were coming. Um, Elise? Welcome to St. Astraya Girls' School. I hope you'll enjoy your visit. Right this way.
What's in here? It looks like an indoor garden. This is the Academy's Rose Garden. The person who called you here is waiting inside. Who did call us here anyway? Whoever they are, they must have considerable social standing. Your Highness, I brought the guests. Thank you! Please show them in! Oh! No way! Hey, Elise, is that... You don't need to ask when you already know. Now, if you'll follow me... <gasps> I... I knew it! Ladies and gentlemen of Class 7! My name is Alfin! Alfin Rice Arner! It's a pleasure to meet all of you! 